Could your mattress have fiberglass inside of it? And what are the health concerns? Wow, the I-Team finding all those questions out. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles is here, of course, with us to talk about what he's working on for tonight over on ABC7. Jason, this is a scary story when you think about how much time we spend sleeping on mattresses. Right, yeah. right, right. How did the story come about and what is in the mattresses that we should be concerned about? Right, well, like you said, we're on our beds all the time and we actually got the story because six mattresses were found in a family's home. A family called us because they have six mattresses with fiberglass and the fiberglass escaping from those homes or from those mattresses. So yes, of course, you could be sleeping on a mattress that has fiberglass inside of it. In recent years, manufacturers have actually added it in mattresses to help fireproof those mattresses. It's a new inexpensive way to do so. But if the fiberglass escapes, experts say it could cause rashes, itching, sore throats, and as you can see there, this family led us wow. into their home to show us all this. That fiberglass sticking to everything. It's all over the house. They had to put plastic on some of the mattresses because they had to retain some of those mattresses and keep them as they were getting a resolution from the manufacturer. Of course, we stepped in as well. Um, but there's plastic on the furniture. They have to replace the furniture. Uh, a lot of health experts are concerned about this. Environmental groups are worried about fiberglass coming out of mattresses. Now, there is uh, some hope, though, in California, they are actually outlawing fiberglass in mattresses and furniture. And as we know, many times, uh, whatever may happen in California could happen in other states. You know, one of the reasons is a lot of these manufacturers, they may not want to make two different versions of a mattress. So we'll mm -hmm. see what happens. But California recently did ban the use of this fiberglass. But, you know, it is somewhat new. It's a newer, inexpensive okay. way to fireproof the mattress. So how do you know? Yeah, that was my like, next it's, question. I mean, sometimes it looks like, like dog hair or, I mean, you might have some of the symptoms you talked about. Is it uh, a cheaper mattress has more? or less I mean it gotta be hard people are now gonna see your report I gotta go look at my mattress right, right. right. you know seriously. that's right I mean people are gonna want to know if they have fiberglass in their mattresses there are things you can do now there is no law requiring the manufacturer to list fiberglass as an ingredient in the mattress so it is hard for consumers so you're gonna want to ask the manufacturer is there fiberglass in my mattress now another thing you can look out for is many times the fiberglass is in mattresses that are bought online so you're gonna to want to do extra homework if you are buying a mattress online that has a cover on it and there are other things you could do too to make sure that the fiberglass doesn't escape if you have that cover you are not supposed to remove the cover at all you're supposed to spot clean that mattress cover but there are things you could do to make sure that that fiberglass is not coming out you can also add another cover on top of it but as you'll see tonight at 10 there are some concerns that the fiberglass can still come out even if there is a cover on and even if you don't remove that cover so you want to ask if fiberglass is being used you can also ask for alternatives you can ask for rayon or wool to see if those ingredients are in the mattress to help fireproof the mattress. But of course, those ingredients are, come at a cost. Mm -hmm. They're more money. So yeah. the consumers are gonna have to pay more if they don't want fiberglass in many cases. And you just thought going it's to get a mattress. Know. I know, right? Because yeah. you're thinking yeah. now you're going to go look at your mattress tonight. And most of us have those protectors over them that's supposed to keep everything in. So well, sometimes you can't right. afford the nice mattress. Yeah. If you're a college student oh. or you're living at home, just you know, living paycheck to paycheck, you just want to get the cheapest one. Right. right, right. And these online beds are very popular. Uh, they come in a box. They're yep. convenient. A lot of people have them. But a lot of these beds do have that cover. And if you remove the cover, that's when you can start seeing a lot of these issues. Wow. Um, and they had six. So yeah. Tonight at 10. Right. Yeah. Uh, after the CMAs. Yeah, after the CMAs and tonight at 10, more about this family's right. battle yeah. we want with to their mattresses. It. We're going to hear their story and their fight with the manufacturer yeah, as look well. Forward to it. Wow. Always appreciate you joining us here for a preview. Thank we'll see so you at 10. Much. So informative. Scratchy. I'm all scratchy. Course, I know. <laughs> you kind of feel like it when you yeah. hear stories like that. And, and, and like you said, we spent a lot of time. It, yeah, that's where we spend a lot most of hours. And you sleep most of the time.